What is up guys, Keelan by here. Genshin Impact 2.0 has a new abyss and I've seen a lot of people having trouble with this abyss. So I just want to make this quick guide to help you guys understand some mechanics as well as give you some tips so you guys can have an easier time clearing it as well as some character recommendations that might give you an easier time. Alright, to start off with, we're going to do a very brief summary about floor 9, 10, and 11, and a little couple tips here and there. And if you guys don't need tips for a certain floor, I will be timestamping this video so you guys can just skip on ahead. So for floor 9, you'll have a plasma field on the outer rim of the arena, which will gradually shrink over time. And if you are inside the plasma arena or the electric field area, you'll take electric damage every 5 seconds. It's honestly not a lot of damage if you're an end game player, but if you are an early game player, it could maybe chunk you or if you have no artifacts. Camber 1 will have some Hilly Trolls or Sama Trolls spawn on the sides, as well as Hydro Slimes spawning. I recommend you go for the Hilly Trolls or Sama Trolls first, because the Hydro Slimes will come after you. And once you clear that off, you'll end up fighting a Mita Troll, a Shield Mita Troll, where you'll probably want to bring Pyro to break the shield. Second half, it's the same concept idea. Go for the Sama Trolls, as every other monster will come after you. Camber 2, I recommend you go for the Hydro Gunner first, because he heals other allies. And after you kill him, you can either have a Pyro Unit for the Cryo Shield, a, a, cryo, a Pyro Unit for the Cryo Shield, or or a cryo unit for the electro shield or something like Zhongli to get rid of the geo shield or a claymore or some sort of heavy hitter on the second half is just a bunch of treasure hoarders so if you guys want or have bring like a, a nemo unit or some sort of big aoe so you can hit a lot of them in chamber three it's just gonna be a stone lava trill so bring Zhongli or a heavy hitter to get rid of the geo shield as well as a pyro unit to get rid of the frost shield uh you could bring Zhong, uh, d luke Zhongli. Changling, Bennett, things like that. And then second half, uh, you can bring things that stagger them or Nemo unit to group them together. All right, so for floor 10, there's going to be one leader monster. It's just going to be the bigger monster. And then some attendants that are going to be giving the leader monster elemental resistance, physical resistance, as well as periodically healing the bigger monster as well as themselves. So the name of the game, if you don't have a lot of damage, is to kill the small Sama Trolls and the Hilly Trolls that are the attendants before you kill the leader monsters of the Abyss Mage and the Mita Troll, right? Um, if you have enough damage, you can just honestly kill them all at the same time, but I recommend you kill the Hydro Sama Troll, because this guy heals really fast. And the second half, just kill the Hilly Trolls, and then kill the Lava Troll, and make sure you bring a Geo Unit or Heavy Hitter to get rid of the Stone Shield. Second Chamber, I recommend you bring a Pyro Unit on the first half, and a Cryo Unit on the second half. That's mostly for Chamber 3, but it, the Pyro Unit will get rid of the Cryo Gunner, and you're going to want to focus the Hydro Gunner first, then go for the Cryo Gunner, and then kill the other guys. For the second half, you're going to want to probably go for the Electro Hammer or whatever element you don't have to get rid of a shield because you're going to need Zhongli or Heavy Hitter for the Geo Shield, Cryo for the Electro Shield, or Hydro for the Power Shield, and then just proceed. And when it comes down to this, you're going to kill the uh, Sama Trolls first on either half, and then you're going to go and kill these guys as usual. Pyro is the most effective against the Electro Electric Shield, and Hydro or Cryo is the most effective against the Herald's Hydro Shield. For floor 11, there's going to be a massive pyro and cryo damage boost, and most people seem to have trouble with chamber 3 the most, and the reason for that is the pyro hypostasis. To deal with the pyro hypostasis, you're going to have to deal break the pyro shield with the hydro unit first, because that's going to be the most effective, and then I recommend that you bring a cryo DPS if you have one to take advantage of that cryo damage boost to kill the pyro hypostasis faster. I have killed it with Tartalia, a hydro unit, all throughout the shield, as well as the HP phase, if you want to do that, but you would have to have a stronger unit um, to deal with the cryo hypostasis obviously just bring a power unit and for chamber one it's just going to be a matter of just killing the midatrolls first as well as a bunch of the whopper flowers they just spawn like crazy second half the thunder lava troll will spawn on a different side than the electro Bismage, mage but they will come to each other anyway so just focus on one of them Chamber 2, I recommend once again bring a Pyro unit to get rid of these shields, and then you can use a Nemo to get rid of the Hydro shield in conjunction, bring Pyro and a Nemo, it should make it pretty easy. Second half, the Lecter, you can break this shield with Pyro or Cryo, honestly I would say just bring a Cryo unit if you're trying to do alt chambers in one, use, one take, uh, because if you bring a Pyro, Hydro, and a Cryo for Chamber 3, it's going to get kind of weird, and Cryo is sufficient enough to break the Lecter shield on its own. Real fast, I'm going to show you guys a CryoCube example. This is just one of the runs on one of our accounts where we just use Bennett and Mono Pyro with Kazuha. There's no real point to swirl it as it does nothing. The Diluc ends up one-tapping it along with Bennett Shungling. And if you guys are unfamiliar with this mechanics, make sure you guys stay near the CryoCube as if you're, if you're close to the CryoCube, it will spawn these little orbs that you have to charge attack back into the CryoCube really close to him. 
if you are stand far, they'll span, spawn farther away and make it harder for you to be able to reach the one after the other. This next bit here is going to be the pyro cube. And I'm going to show you how you end up, how there is a pyro shield right here on the bar. And I'm just using Mona here to be able to deal with the shield. You can use Tartalia, Barbara, Xingqiu, Mona, whatever Hydro unit one you, you want to use. But try to make sure there is maybe a little bit of synergy with the team. But it doesn't really need to have one. Like if you had Ayaka, I'd probably do Xingqiu Ayaka. And if you, worst case scenario, just bring Barbara. Just as somebody with Thrilling Tales Dragon Slayer. I tried to apply the Omen here, but it's best to kind of wait for when he has Pyro. But at the same time, Ganyu is strong enough to be able to just melt him nonstop. And you're just going to basically wait for good moments. When he does this little spinny thingy, he has these tenders where you have to use a reaction to break them. I'm just using Hydro on them. Uh, and you can see here, if this ends up filling up right here, this will make it so that he gets his Pyro Shield back. That's going to be pretty much it for the Pyro Hypostasis fight, just to go over it again. It's basically going to be destroy the Pyro Shield with the Hydro unit, and then go and take out the HP bar, preferably with a Cryo unit, although you can use a Hydro unit as well. But I wouldn't recommend something like Xingqiu to do that sort of thing. And then you're going to reach those invulnerability phases where he starts spinning around and spawning tinders. Break those tinders with the Hydro unit. It can be a Hydro Orbital such as Barbara's Elemental Skill or uh, Xingqiu's Elemental Skill as well too. And after that, uh, just keep in mind that you can also target him with a ranged character such as Mona, Ganyu, Tartalia. When he goes enters the mode where he floats in the sky and tries to shoot some fire rockets at you, whatever you would like to call it. All right, that's going to be all for this floor 9 through 11 guide. Hopefully this video helped you guys beat some of this abyss. If you guys still need more help after finishing this video, make sure you guys swing by on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash kalenpai, where I will help you guys make an abyss team specifically for your account, as well as possibly help you in other ways. Wink, wink. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below what teams you guys use to beat the Abyss. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to get more Genshin Impact guides and other Genshin Impact content. Follow me on Twitter for Genshin Impact updates, as well as Primo Gem codes and various other things. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.